Hey, Shad here with SpeedX, and today we're going to uncreate the Climb Cryos Pro. What is up, Speed Addicts? We got a nice helmet here for you. This is the Climb Cryos Pro. It is the Mac Daddy of the dual sport world. If you're looking for one of the best dual sports on the market and you're not afraid to pay top dollar, this might be the helmet for you. We're going to do a deep dive here and tell you why you should part with uh, $700 to $750, depending on which flavor you get. Uh, Climb is no stranger to the adventure, touring, and snow game. They're uh, out in Idaho. They test all their stuff right there in the Rockies. It's ready for adventure. This stuff holds up for a long time. I had the original Cryos myself and loved it quite a bit. This one improves on that. It's lighter weight and uh, it's got some cool features I'm going to show you right now. Speaking of weight, this thing came in at 3.1 pounds on our scale. I think they claim a weight that's a bit higher. Uh, so extremely lightweight, especially for a helmet with the visor and the, the sun visor and the full face shield. So anything right around three pounds is just world class. Um, the helmet is a full carbon fiber construction. It is DOT and ECE rated. Two shell sizes, making up sizes extra small all the way up to 3XL. Real quick before I deep dive, in case you're new to riding, what is a dual sport helmet? The dual sport helmet is a full face helmet with a face shield and also a motocross style visor. It gives you a lot of flexibility to go on and off the road and have that extra sun protection. You can also flip this up and run goggles. I'll show you that in a minute. So it's kind of the jack of all trades. Uh, we do have a lot of guys who never go off road who want to wear a dual sport helmet. Maybe you got a supermoto setup or you just want to look cool. I mean, dual sport helmets are pretty sweet looking, make you look like the guy from Halo. That's never a bad thing. Um, this one is ready to receive Bluetooth communication systems with speaker pockets. Climb makes their own integrated solution. It's the Senna 10U, and uh, that is all plug and play with pockets for all the goodies, and it's uh, a little bit easier to install, but you can run whatever Bluetooth uh, system you want to run in the Climb Cryos Pro. Let's do a deep dive here and talk about this helmet top to bottom. First up, this uh, motocross visor is what I'm talking about. That's gonna give you some protection. It is adjustable and it is cut up like Swiss cheese. Why is that? Well, they wanna give you that sun protection without creating a big uh, lift on the helmet. So they pay special attention to the arrow work on these visors so that they don't yank on your neck, especially at highway speeds. Lower trail speeds, it's not really an issue, but at higher speeds, if they're not correctly designed, this will pull on you. I can say the, the original Cryo, same uh, similar visor design that I've worn a lot, is great even up to 80 miles an hour. You can run the helmet without the visor. It pops right off. They include covers to cover up that pivot kit. And then you have more of a traditional full face helmet. So, you know, depending on riding conditions, you can mix and match however you like. Uh, let's show you this air diffuser on the back. Big pronounced air diffuser. This is where your exhaust ports are. You have an intake port under here, okay? Pretty easy to work. It's one big switch. So you can get your gloves up in there and switch that. And then we have another switch down here on the bottom. So all the venting, well, the front venting, the intake vents can be turned on and off. So if you're in cold weather, that is nice. You can totally seal this helmet up. And because of those choroid, the choroid material in this, which is one of those special features that makes this helmet so light, uh, it actually ventilates better. So uh, I told you full carbon fiber shell, but also the thing that makes the Cryos Pro different from the original Cryos is that choroid material. We'll cut in a cool graphic of that so you can see what I'm talking about. It's these energy absorbing um, green straws that are, that are packed together there and they crunch and an impact, but they also allow weight savings and better ventilation. So it's a really cool partnership that Climb has with the choroid guys. Uh, it's also used, I believe, in airplane materials and stuff like that. So that's the ventilation. Uh, one thing I will say is that on my old cryos, as I broke these, they stick out pretty far. I mean, they're trying to work on arrow or make it look cool, but um, it's got some sharp points that can catch on things. And you can replace them if you break them, but, and they're just kind of plastic. So that's my one nitpick there. Um, let's talk about the face shield. Giant eye port. I mean, look at that thing. It's like a fishbowl. It's going to give you really good visibility, which is important, especially off-road. You can see all the terrain coming at you. We flip this up. Uh, pin lock ready. They do include the pin lock insert 
What is a pin lock insert shad? It is a extra lens that installs on the inside of your face shield, creating a dual pane system that reduces or completely eliminates fog by managing the temperature difference from the outside to the inside. I know that's a lot, but uh, it's a really simple piece of equipment that installs right there. If you have to buy one, they're 50 or 60 bucks. You're spending this kind of dough. Climb includes it with the helmet, which is nice. Another spendy piece of material on this helmet is this Transitions lens, which tents in the sunlight, so you're ready for all lighting conditions. That's their workaround because they're not including that sun um, interior sun visor in this helmet. So you're ready for different lighting conditions. They also include a clear, a plain clear face shield extra in the box, as well as extra uh, visor attachment. Um, we'll call them washers. That is another thing I'm not a huge fan of on this helmet. It isn't an awesome helmet. I love it all around, but this is one of the things that kind of bothers me, the way that the visor system works. It's this, this uh, little nut that you gotta turn down. That's not the hard part. Now it's down. Now you gotta wiggle it, wiggle it, wiggle it until it comes out of place. So shield changes are not exactly snappy, and if you do torque this the wrong direction, you can break that off. The reason you know that happens is because they include an extra set in the box. You've been warned. So. Uh, if the helmet's facing, you want to twist them down to 6 o'clock and then they'll pop out and you can take off the sun visor or the face shield that way. More on the face shield. You can run goggles on this helmet. Uh, you can do that by one, taking this off altogether or just running your straps underneath this little groove here. So that's nice, you know, you're on the asphalt, you hit the fire road, you want to run goggles, you're working hard. Why do you want to run goggles instead of a face shield? When you're working hard on a bike, your, your respiration rate goes way up and you will tend to fog up a face shield. So, and you want more airflow. So bump up your face shield, put on your goggle straps, run them around the helmet, and now you're ready for all sorts of off-road terrain. Okay, uh, and the mouth guard flows quite a bit of air. Big waffle grill right there. Suck lots of air in. Let's flip over the cryos and see what we got inside here first up. We have a non-traditional helmet closure. Uh, it is the Fidlock. It's a pretty cool mechanism that is magnetic. It's got a little bit of a magnetic lock. So it's really easy to get in and out of this helmet. It'll make you not want to go back to your traditional double D ring closure. So you just pull and you're out. You hold them close together. They snap in. I mean, threading, threading uh, D rings is annoying, especially with gloves on. So this just makes it easier to jump in this helmet and jump out of this helmet. Uh, the materials are nice and smooth. You know, it's got a nice uh, sock on your strap for extra comfort so you don't just have like a raw strap on your neck. We've got a chin curtain right here that can be removed. That is your choice. You can run it with or without. Let's pop out some of these pads. Removable washable liner. Uh, it's the Climatech liner system from Climb. It's antimicrobial, anti-funk, so if you're going on a long trip, it's going to be a while before you can service the helmet. This thing will keep the microbes, the stinky microbes, from growing inside of your liner. There you go. Typical cheek pad. They come in different sizes. If you do need to adjust, we can help you with that if the fit's not perfect out of the box. But I found this helmet to run really true and not break in a whole, a whole ton. So let's get this other cheek pad out of the way. The cheek pad, you'll notice, is also this neck roll. The neck roll is the part of the helmet that becomes uh, worn over time because it's the part that's sitting on whatever surface you throw your helmet down on. When they make it part of the cheek pad like this, it's kind of nice because you can buy a new set of cheek pads and the whole bottom of your helmet is refinished. You don't have to buy another piece, a whole neck roll, so it's kind of nice. Okay, let's get this headliner out of the way and show you the inside of the Cryos Pro. Like I was saying, there is the choroid material you're gonna see, and you're gonna see big ventilation vents cut or molded into the, uh, the styrofoam EPS. You're gonna see a lot of this green choroid peeking through. Okay, we're almost there. All right, excellent. So we now have that out of the way and you can see what I'm talking about. That is the choroid material. 
Those green straws are gonna absorb energy and impact, improve ventilation, and reduce weight. So the trifecta right there is the choroid, and that's part of their partnership. Nicest part about this helmet is Klein is backing up with a full five-year warranty, which is nice on a helmet that you will uh, beat up, you know, if you're doing a lot of off-road riding, adventure touring, you're gonna put some heavy miles on it. Climb is great about standing behind their products. And if you wanna get a Cryos Pro, head over to speedx.com. Remember, we know shopping for gear online can be tricky, so we have free exchanges and returns. If this thing doesn't fit, uh, send it back. We'll provide a free label to you. Or if you just decided it's not for you, as long as it's new in the original packaging, we'll pay to get it back to Speed Addicts. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.